let's send a Slack message when a, an appointment has been deleted so that we can just stay up to date with what's happening. So create a new automation as before. And this time I'll have a Slack message for appointment deletion. I have a row deletion now. And specifically, I care about when something from the appointments table has been deleted. And when that happens, I want to do an interaction with Slack. So I'll click Slack and I'll press save. Now Slack wants an incoming webhook URL and a message. So if I head over to the Slack documentation, I want to be able to set up an application that can receive webhooks. So I'll create a new Slack app. So I'll create an app from scratch. I'll call it a buddy base notifier and deploy it into there. So I create my app from the features toggle activate incoming webhooks. So features, incoming webhooks, turn them on. Step three, add a new webhook. So I want to add a webhook. And I'll just send it into general and allow. So this is going, this webhook will allow my application to receive data and send it to the general channel. And then we need to use it. So we'll grab this URL and we'll paste it in here. And then what do we want our message to be? So we want to say that the appointment has been deleted. So we'll say the appointment for dot date has been removed, put your feet up. We'll save that. And now we need to test it. If I click test, I'm going to say from appointments, um, we want to try to delete it. So now in the Slack channel, body based notifier, the appointment for the date I said has been removed, put your feet up. As before, this test works fine, but I need to publish it before I can see it in action in real life. So I'll go into my app, I'll find the appointment. This one's for July 31st, I'll view it, and then I'll delete it. Rows delete it, so nothing here that so shows what's going on in the background. When I click back into here, I can see that the appointment for July 31st has been removed, put your feet up. We're tracking things being deleted. You can imagine tracking things that are being added, things that are being updated. You can imagine following your user on a journey and using Slack to be able to update um, your team with where they are within your application. Again, if the messages get too noisy, we can remove and delete the automation and then make sure we've published it so that it doesn't keep happening when rows are deleted.